but what a getaway dream I felt like such a rebel Driving with the devil on angel wings Had nowhere to be Friends in the backseat Begging to smoke a cigarette We were lying at the scene Making turns and memories Swear the best ones hadn't happened yet Now I'm chasing down that first car feeling red I'm never satisfied Chasing down that first car feeling red You don't get that twice You never get back that first taste of freedom No matter how hard you try When everything's changing you can't see it Don't go up cause it's a lie That first car feeling never dies Now it's nine to five and paychecks And bills I haven't paid yet I got getaway dreams I was trading friendship bracelets The wind on all our faces It was all new to me We could park on any street Let it out like therapy Before we knew we needed it Too young to feel the time Crossing city lines And having to return the first car like got told us so I don't count that one it was a black Dodge Stratus it was four doors and I got into a car accident I was 17 years old and um, this lady like ran like like a faded out like stop sign on the ground like at the mall when it got totaled like two days later my mom got this like royal blue like Pontiac G6 it was a sports car and like it was just mine to drive and uh, yeah that was kind of I guess I kind of count that one as my first there we one go. <laughs> these are <laughs> This is a new segment we just invented this morning. Uh, these really? These are words. I thought you were about to give me a hat. I'm gonna I was give about you to be like, I can't end. fit over my hair, but I'll take it, you know? <laughs> these are words from your Wikipedia. <laughs> Pull. So, so oh, God. Give me, give, me a couple, give me a couple sentences. Tell us what the word is. That's like, it has some, a nice ring oh, to it. Oh, church. Words from Wikipedia. Church. Yeah. That's how I learned how to sing. Just being in church. Yeah. 
that's kind of like where I learned everything. So take us back, like when you start from like a young age, where you just yeah, my mom says I was three, um, actually, and uh, I just sang in the choir, and I used to like beg to sing because like they have like rules and regulations in church, you know, <laughs> and like you had to be in the children's choir until you were ten years old, and I was seven, and I was like I've aged out. I've outgrown this and like and so they like they let me I begged and begged and begged and they let me be on the the big kids choir and uh and now I just want to go back to the children's choir <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's my hometown. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, the Northeast, only like three hours from here. Um, but yeah, that's where I learned a lot of stuff. Like, I feel like it set me up to be able to like kind of like handle Nashville, you know? 
in its own little way. How? Well, I mean, it's where I learned how to sing, you know, like being in church. And from there, meeting a lot of my friends who taught me how to sing in the studio. It gave me an appreciation for, for music and for caring about the art. And it's like, it's not an industry in Baltimore. So you just have people who just really like music and really like art. And they like classical. And they like Billie Holiday, who's from Baltimore. They like Tony Braxton, who's from Baltimore. Also, I mean, Tupac went to high school there, you know. Like, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's a, it's a complex city. And I think musically, it made me better because I just, you had to learn how to do it all. And, uh, and I, I say this often, but I think it's a really special thing when a person who's been kind of brought up to learn how to do a lot of different things um, figures out what they actually want to do. You know, like what's the thing that makes you want to wake up every morning? What's the genre? What's the sound? What's the thing that comes out of your body and you can't help it? And, uh, and so a person who can do a lot of things choosing one thing um, or choosing a path, I guess, a singular path maybe is the best way to put it. Um, I think it's special, and I think I attribute a lot of that to Baltimore. The last time I was in love, I didn't hold nothing back. Love is none of that. The last time I was in love, I didn't think twice about how it might work out. I opened up when you looked at me, you pulled me in and let me breathe. I didn't need you to make me feel like I'm enough. I don't know where we were wrong, but I'm someone else. Since you've been gone, and I wish I could get back to the person I was the last time. The last time. The last time I was in love. The power was in your hands. Now it's in my hands. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Who are these guys? Oh, dude, this is my favorite part of the show. This is Harrison Finks. This is John McNally. And this is Omri Scop. And uh, 
This is my band, and uh, we've been just kind of rehearsing for a little while and uh, kind of gearing up for tour next week. We're nervous. Are y'all nervous? I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous. Y'all not ner- You're not nervous? Stoked. What if Bob Dylan comes out from his dressing room? Well, you're not nervous? We're not going to see Bob. <laughs> <We're> not- <laughs> is that what you tell yourself at night? Yeah. Okay, cool. Wait, so you guys are going on <laughs> tour with Bob Dylan. Yeah, and Willie and Nelson. Willie Nelson. Yes. That's insane. I've been touring with Willie for the last like three years, you know, like off and on. And so I'm, I feel so inspired. Their families are out there, which is like really like special, like for me to watch, you know, as a person who, you know, maybe one day wants to have a family, you know, seeing how that can kind of work with road life. But also it's just legends. Like there was one time I was just standing side stage and I was just watching Willie play and it was so good. And I watched him play like a lot before then, but it was this one particular night where it was like, it felt like an out of body experience. And I'm like, I can't believe I get to stand side stage and like, you know, do incredible things with people that I've long admired. Those are like road warriors too. Yeah. They're just like, let's just keep touring. They are. Bob and Dylan I get is, it. Isn't it like the never ending tour? He's been on tour forever. He's never yeah, not on tour. That makes sense. <laughs> just watching the road warriors has like ultimately like, like kind of heightened my perspective of what I want to do for the rest of my life, I love the road. I feel most alive out on the road. I also feel most dead on the road, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, there's where was one more, and this is a good transition. The other word on here is Blackbird. Yeah. Why is that song special? What does it mean to you? Blackbird is mad special to me because I got to sing it with Beyonce on uh, Cowboy Carter. And um, gosh, that was such an incredible, like I still can't believe that like that happened, you know? She's Beyonce. To be able to do something with her is so special to me personally and musically. Um, and also the Beatles is my second favorite band. So this is really cool to be able to to be a part of, honestly, like just two very iconic uh, stories kind of coming together in the form of this cover of Blackbird. Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You're only waiting for this moment to arise. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these sunken eyes and learn to see all your life. For this moment to be free Blackbird fly Blackbird fly Into the light of a dark black First time that I've, I've sang the song like since it, it came out for so, real yeah yeah so like big ups to Beyonce and uh, that was that's such a wild experience I will literally never forget it I don't have words yet it's been months and I still don't really have words this is fun such a beautiful rendition yeah thank you thank you for coming thank, thank all you so you guys much for, for having coming. us thank you.